Okay, look at these plates here. Ooh, that good? Yeah. We're about to try these and just want you guys to see how much I have on the plate. Alexa is about to get hers as well and we haven't tried them yet. So we're going to give our first opinions on the mac and cheese. I'm so nervous. Alexa. We're about to try them. We have three huge plates. And everyone's gonna give their first opinions. Wait, which one's Wait, which? This which one one's is, which? This one is the um, cheesy jalapeno, and this one's the bold and cheesy. Okay. Because you could see like the jalapeno. Oh, true. I'm so scared. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, um, it's not. Alright, are we trying the hot Cheeto one? Yeah, let's is try that the, the hot red Cheeto. One? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's pretty spicy. Really? I, I, I feel think like it's you're remotely spicy. Really? I don't think it's spicy. Oh, yeah, it's pretty spicy for me. <laughs> they don't think it's spicy, but I do. Wait, this is let's see, really good. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. Mm. Mm. I tried the bold and cheesy. I tried that was amazing. Is the jalapeno good? Are you gonna try? I'm gonna try the bold and cheesy <laughs> now. Jackson, you wanna try? We also. Darko here. Darkito! <laughs> you can't have any. Wait, I really don't need red dye. I like you the golden yeah, cheese. Yeah, which one's well. your favorite? I okay. like the red. Mm. Great, so let's go back down. Cool. You like the hot Cheeto? So yeah. now I'm trying I don't know what the names are. The cheesy jalapeno. Mm. It's a tiny bit closer. I think I like the jalapeno the best. Mm. No, maybe the basic. I think I like mm -hmm. the basic. <laughs> basic, spicy. Mm. Okay, so I'm also going to ask you guys some questions. Oh, as promised. Not. Okay, questions for the mukbang. First, let's see what, what a good one is. I, got, I asked on Instagram some questions and I got a bunch of them, so I'm going to try to pick out a good one. There's one question that says, what's in your purse? And I asked Alexa if she would do it if your purse is... Yeah, it's in my room with sack. Ready? And in the meantime, what's your zodiac sign? Mine is a Pisces. Cancer. Cancer. You're a Cancer? Yeah, her, isn't her birthday a couple days before yours? Are we know. both Cancers? Yeah. We're like three days back. Your birthday is July... June 19th? June 25th. Oh. Lawrence is July. Alright, I have in my her wallet. A lip gloss. Or actually, this is a little bit of a tint <coughs> gloss. You guys have to keep I'm it. wearing it right now. And then Fenty Beauty gloss. I don't know the color. Sweet mouth. I love it. Um, and then I have some Lancome powder in case I need to touch up my makeup when I'm out. And then I just have my keys. That's about it. Wow, that's pretty basic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like we can't bring too much, because our purses are pretty small, so we can't bring too much stuff out. I don't even have a purse. <laughs> so you just put things in your pockets? <laughs> no, actually, I guess I do have a purse, but usually I only leave with, like, my credit card and my keys mm. and my phone, and that goes in my pocket. Okay, favorite breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert spot in New York City? I'll start. Favorite breakfast? I would say just Red. a bagel, I feel like. Which is? No, I would say just a bagel. Too. Tompkins is so good. Yeah, Tompkins. Heaven's, right? Heaven's hot bagel is really good. But that's just um, also because it's really near. It's really close to us, really live. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like any basic bagel spot is really good in New York City. Mm -hmm. And then for lunch, I have so many favorites. I told you guys to check out my food page, New York City Food Tour. But I went to Sugarfish today and absolutely loved it. So it depends what you really want for lunch. There's there's so many good restaurants in New York. They kind of have to be really good to survive in the city, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So there are just a ton of good ones. But what's your favorite? And dinner, slash dinner, mm -hmm. salon. Both of you. Um, my favorite, so my favorite breakfast spot is Tompkins Bagels. I always get the um, everything bagel toasted with 
chicken salad, onion, tomato, and lettuce, which is a little weird, but it's so good. And then for lunch, ooh, it's a combi, obviously. <laughs> How could I not even think about that right away? Tacombi is a taco spot. I'm obsessed with tacos. <laughs> and for dinner, I would say I could probably do a sushi. We love miso sushi. New miso. New miso. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. Um, and that was my lunch. That was gonna be my lunch. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, say. and then dessert spot. Dessert. I don't really eat dessert, um, so I don't know too many. To be completely honest, I don't know. I don't know if this is allowed to be an answer, but my favorite breakfast spot is for sure our kitchen. <laughs> I think we make the best breakfast. Like, yeah, in the game. Becca will she whip up ham. I make a your meat, bacon, egg, and cheese. Any sort of breakfast sandwich or like breakfast tortilla, mm -hmm. I I would rather make my own breakfast than pay for it because I crush breakfast. Yeah, and I agree. Too. I agree. But, but sometimes on a Saturday you just want yeah. A nice but table. if I'm lazy, if I want something, Tompkins. But I also haven't tried enough breakfast. That's just like yeah, our, our go-to. Yeah, because we only go there. Lunch, new mizu, sushi. Mm. Dinner, um, oh, I'm going to say it wrong, but Joey and I just went to this place, El Cortalo, in the West Village, kind of like near Soho. Hi, oh my God, Hi. such good Italian food, like pizza, pasta, and it was a good vibe. That would probably be like, if I had to pick a top list right now. Really? Or, what's the Thursday kitchen? Mokio. Mokio. Mokio, yeah. yeah. I always talk about it. I like the dinner. I like my dinner places more so based off of like the vibe around the restaurant. Because you can get good food mm -hmm. anywhere. Okay. Um, and then I would say also, I tried this Italian spot yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Frank Italian. Yeah. In the East oh, yeah, it's owned by Just the same person as Suffrage. Yeah. So and then delicious. dessert spots, I would say, just said this in a previous video, but Magnolia Bakery is really good. Morgan Stearns, Van Leeuwen. Um, it kind of just depends on what you want, honestly. There's some cuisine or some type of food for whatever you're craving here, which is amazing because <clears throat> I'm a foodie and it's just awesome. Okay, next we have best and worst parts of living in New York City. Who wants to go first, Alexa? Um, best parts is that there's always something to do, always really interesting people to meet. Um, and you can also like, if you wanted to get away from the city, you can take the subway an hour away and be by the beach. You could take it an hour away and be in the mountains. Um, so that's, you know, not too much of a problem. I'd say the worst part is that rent is really expensive mm -hmm. and that you don't get enough for what you're paying. Um, that's yeah. probably it. We live in a four flight walk up with one bathroom, three bedrooms, and I mean, it's not small, but it's not big. By any means, it's definitely a good size for New York, but we each pay 1550, which obviously is a lot in rent. Um, but according to other New York places, it's not that much in rent. And then what's your, I would also say that the worst thing is that it's expensive, but the best is that everyone is hustling and everyone has a grind here and just yeah. it's a different type yeah. of energy that was my answer i was going to say the best part is the energy that's when you just said it i'll say city bike oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yes. we city bike everywhere we city bike everywhere i feel like it's easily the we best way to like get biking. around the city and just i don't know switch up the scene I love city biking. We got a year, we each got a year pass, and that means that you just pay yeah. for the year and you can take it as many times as you want without yeah. having to pay each time. So I'll literally like milk it and we'll take the city bike for two, like even if I'm going a five minute walk, I'll just take a city yeah. bike if there's like a spot that I can our pick last up a city bike. bike. <laughs> oh yeah, our last city bike was intense. Um, yeah, every, I think that's the best part of New York. Every time you leave, like it can be a new, new adventure. Kind of cliche, but it's so true. Least favorite part is it's okay when you're trying to sleep at like three or four. Oh, true. In our so and, and, then, and it's just like you're literally in the club, but yeah, people like that um, because it's it's just really loud outside. Obviously, because people yeah. stay out really late here, especially since we live in an area yeah. where there's just a lot going on all the time. Next question is, what's your ethnicity? I am Russian and Greek. Alexa is Mexican. 
Becca, I don't know what you are. I'm like a lot of different things. But what are your main ones? <clears throat> I'm like literally five different things that are all equal. There's Russian, not Russian. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yugoslavian. When before that broke up, no, I don't like this question. Okay. I'm definitely, yeah. You're, you're just a mix of answer. all of it. I'm a mutt. Okay. Advice on moving on. Alexa, why don't you take this one? Uh, <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is identifying why you have to move on. Um, and then just kind of reminding yourself every single day and every time you think about the person, you know, why it's going to benefit you to move on, whether that's because you ended up breaking up with them or not being with them anymore. Um, or if they ended up leaving you, it's a kind of identifying that that person wasn't good for you and that there's going to be someone out there that wants to be with you and wants to put you first all the time. Um, or if they're just like not a good, if they're not compatible with you, it's just kind of reminding you of those things every single time you want to like reach out and then just thinking of that. I keep reiterating <laughs> what I just said. So I'll stop there. <laughs> Agreed. And that, going off of that, what do you do to find you guys and for dating in New York? Um, Someone asked this. I think the biggest thing for me is always saying yes to plans because it can be so easy. Like for example, tonight, it's a Saturday and I'm, I just started American Horror Story and I like want to just watch it all night. But if my friends are doing something where I know that there's going to be like potentially new people to meet there, it's just saying yes um, to as many plans as possible. But it's definitely hard during COVID because you can't just like go to a bar or a club yeah. and meet someone random as easily or, or at all. Yeah, so and I know dating apps hard. are a huge <laughs> thing here, but you don't use the dating apps, right? No. Yeah, it's just you never know with the dating apps if you're going to meet someone good or not. Okay, did you go to college? Yes, Becca and I went to Florida State and Alexa went to NYU. Is it hard to live in New York City during a pandemic? <clears throat> Well, I've only lived in New York City during a pandemic, and I'm loving it, so I'm going to say no. If you make the best of it, you know, find friends, there's good stuff yeah. to do. It's honestly kind of better now that a lot of things, like the clubs and stuff are closed, because mm -hmm. it, it it's more like small gatherings rather than those crazy parties, and yeah. I feel like you get to know people a lot better than we used to. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of the perfect way I would have wanted to start, because now I actually have conversations with people when we go out. It's more mm -hmm. like a just a more intimate vibe, which I like. But yeah, I am no, excited I completely for like, agree. stuff to open up. Yeah, because you haven't really experienced all that stuff, but yeah. it's. I feel like this is a better way to ease into New York. Yeah, too. yeah. It's definitely also just more relaxing, and like you don't think that you have to be out all the time, mm -hmm. which I personally like. Mm -hmm. um, because you get to see New York in a different light. You make more of an effort to go to a park or you make more of an effort to be outside because the only other option is to be inside. Um, so I like that because I would say prior to COVID, I wasn't really trying to find those like outside spots or areas. Yeah. yeah. I was just always like going to brunch or going to a party or like going to a bar. Next question. What do you, no, if you didn't live in New York City, where would you want to live? Florida. Yeah, Florida. <laughs> I agree. Florida as well. I also would want to go for like a month to maybe Colorado and California. Like, oh yeah, my camera is about to die. Uh oh. So, yeah, it's okay. We only have a couple more questions. Once it dies, that's it. Where would you live, Lex? Um. We gotta get is it gonna stay? Yeah. No. I yeah, would we'll live see. probably Miami. Miami. Maybe Denver. Yeah, 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 I feel like everyone wants to try out Colorado. I feel like I would love to live in Europe too for like. A year I could year in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could live in Europe. Yeah, any like big European city just mm -hmm. it's right for me. Okay, and last question. Last. Yeah, because my camera is gonna die. Um, what do you hope to be doing in five years? Oh. In five years, I hope to be close to graduating my PhD program that I want to get into. That she hasn't started yet. I haven't started but yet. But we'll start. See, first, if that's first psychology. Your, if that's one of your main goals, you should... Puppy, what are you <laughs> doing, Lucky? In five years, I hope to be 
owning a house and that's all I know maybe living in Florida but I also really have been appreciating New York lately so I might still be here but I still want to own a house within five years I Dexter, think we're gonna be 28 that's kind of old not really it's not old but it's kind of old I think in five years I want to be starting my Oh. oh! Or partnering with people that have an exciting idea for a company and being part of that. But yeah, definitely she career. Woman. When I think about myself in five years, I see more career than like a specific spot or Me too. Like lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find another good question while we still have time. Um, there's a lot of stuff about relationships. Oh, everyone keeps asking how John and I met. So I'm just gonna answer this once. He's gonna be in the mukbang, but he isn't. He's actually Should right there. Should make a celeb appearance? Yeah, yeah, John, come make a celeb appearance. Yeah. What? <laughs> John, <laughs> tell them, come here, tell them where we met. Where'd we meet? What? Just tell them where we met. <laughs> Same to come. John and I met at a bar at, called Miss You at, during SantaCon. There was this huge FSU um, get together and also Penn State, people from Penn State were there where he's from and he just came up to me <laughs> and that's it. It's a little bit more in depth than that, but basically he just came up to me and we just clicked right away. And that's the rest it. is history. Yep, and the rest is history. We've almost been dating a year, which is crazy. That's crazy. We love John. <laughs> What'd you major in? I majored in marketing and communications. Psychology, finance, and Okay guys, so that was our mukbang. My camera died, so I can't look at my phone for the rest of the questions, but I feel like we answered a good amount. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this and let us know what other videos you wanna see in the comments. And if you have any other questions, write those in the comments as well, and we'll make another video and answer those. And we'll keep doing more mukbangs. And hope everyone has a great day. Great night. I'm still eating. Great week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.